If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, I'm here, welcome back to the road to glory, it has been a while, it's been just over a week since the last episode, although technically speaking, uh, I have had a couple of episodes this week uh, with 6 o'clock content, so if you don't watch the 6 o'clock content videos, maybe I'll start putting RTG right at the very end of the title, but I don't want to put people off who don't watch the road to glory watching it, so basically, um, that's the team by the way, that I used for the majority of the weekend, and in particular with the clips you're about to watch. I did switch Awa for Moments Kaka for the last two games. Um, had a, a loan of him. And i still got a few games, well maybe two games left of him. But um, I thought I'd just switch it up and try and make it as, uh, as easy for myself as possible. This is Weekend League. I'm not used to doing it. I hate it. Uh, I can't play for a long period of time due to health reasons, medical condition, if you will. Um, you know, if you know, you know. If you don't, then you need to go back and, and watch the video why I don't play foot champs. But um, yeah, I, I don't like this game mode in general. And with the sheer number of people that are currently off and just sat in the house bored, the servers were under extreme load this weekend and um, the gameplay wasn't the best from start to finish. I mean, let's be honest, it's not the best at the best of times. But um, with the sheer number of people playing, it's not even like you can blame EA. You know, even if they had the best servers in the world, I, I think they'd still struggle with the sheer number of people trying to play this game right now. Uh, that being said, what was I saying? I've no idea what I was... Oh, yeah. So, 6 o'clock content um, w won't always be on the Road to Glory account. In fact, today, I... I think today I'm going to record it on my other account again. And and sometimes it'll be on this account, sometimes it'll be on my other account. And I'll try and differentiate between the two. Maybe I'll leave Road to Glory as one of the tags of the video. Uh, so you see like little hashtags underneath the video if you watch it on PC. And maybe sometimes if you watch it on a certain version of, of like iPad or whatever it may be. Um, just so that you know. Or maybe I'll put something on screen to show you that it is essentially a Road to Glory. Because uh, I'm, I'm going to obviously do some six o'clock content on this account because this account is the one that's got stacks of players and we run the Sudamericana Libertadores League SBC as well as the Premier League SBC and we just have more players on this account or hi I have more players on this account than I do on the other and I have more coins and I generate more coins because I play on it and I don't really play on the other ones so yeah um, we've completed a few things I'll go through uh, a few of the SBCs that I have completed or have not completed of course today um, I, I do, I don't have the uh, foot birthday party bag SBC, that's what it's called, just yet. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Basically, going forward, uh, there won't be daily Road to Glory videos. I've already said this before, but I've had a lot less than I thought I would. And the reason for that is because I'm very conscious at the moment about the views. The revenue has been halved, if not even worse, because no one's advertising, because there's no one, no, no, no one's got any money to buy anything, so advertisers have cut right down, which makes sense, right? So in these trying times, I'm having to prioritize what videos I release and when, more than ever before. Before it was a case of, I'll just put out Road to Glory out every day, even if there isn't anything going on, We'll just talk about something. Those videos never get a lot of views. Those are the hardcore viewers that like to watch those. And I appreciate you greatly uh, for, for sticking by this series. Uh, despite the fact that it has gone almost weekly at this point. Uh, but I have to prioritize what's, what gets views, what makes money um, more than what I enjoy doing. Which is not really as a YouTuber what you want to do. The whole point of going into YouTube in the first place was to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. And unfortunately... Um, I've been sort of, yeah, at least I'm still earning. That's the main thing. Um, but with that being said, what I'm look at this for a free kick. I'm, I mean, they've changed something in free kicks. You could never put it that far into the corner before a couple of weeks ago. And now all of a sudden you can, and I'm scoring absolute bangers. I love free kicks when they're like this, when they actually work. For months and months, you couldn't put it in the corner unless you were playing squad battles. And now you can put it in the corner... I'm scoring gems. I mean, that literally hit the side netting. I was, oh, beautiful. Um, 
So yeah, I I'm not going to be putting out Road to Glories unless there's something worth really showing. So if I complete a player that isn't part of 6 o'clock content, if I have a particular pack to open, Rewards Day, uh, just something that will have a, a worthwhile title and will have something in it that people will want to watch, essentially. It's it's sad that we have to do it this way, and, and when things go back to normal, maybe we'll, we'll be able to change back to the old style of just having videos every day, regardless of whether there's something interesting to watch or not. But for right now, unfortunately, I just have to prioritize what puts you know food on the table, I, I guess. This guy stopped playing as it went 6-2. Uh, two games there. I didn't actually record the last game. I did finish Silver 1. I That's what I planned to do all along. I wanted that, that red player pick for 10 wins. And then, of course, one extra win gets me automatic qualification. And we get a, an uncapped red pick on Thursday. So And I had to have another look at that free kick. So that's why I decided just going to stop at Silver 1. So Silver 1, because it's been a while, uh, Silver 1 gives us 20,000 coins, a 15k pack, a 35k pack, one player pick, and automatic qualification. To be honest, the automatic qualification is what I wanted more than anything. Uh, at least we'll get a red player pick. I'm not bothered about the red player picks for Thursdays because the team of the weeks aren't that desirable. You know, for the last few weeks, Gareth Bale has realistically been the, uh, maybe Kevin De Bruyne at a push, uh, they've been the only players I would have even remotely been interested in getting as a red pick. The rest of them would have just served no purpose. So, yeah, picking that up, it, it's awesome, but it's it's not really going to do it unless they release a crazy good team of the week. Um, yeah, so if I'd if I'd finished silver two, which was ten wins, the pack uh, is better incidentally because you get a rare gold pack instead of a 15k pack so technically speaking that pack is better because it's higher value but you only get a, a one of two foot champions uh, player picks and it's a max of 84 so at least if you're going to give yourself a chance you've got to give yourself the best chance right and of course you don't get automatic qualification i would have needed to have played 400 points worth of, of games this week and i don't plan on doing that that's a lie i do because i'm going to have to review right so i'm going to have to play the games but you know, if, if you want foot champs, silver one's probably the best you're going to get from me, unless unless there is a desperate need for me to finish higher. Uh, I will be going into Weekend League again this week. The um, reason for that is because I need one win to get the Icon Swaps token. Uh, where is it? Foot Birthday Weekend League? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we've done that. I've claimed it. We'll open that in a second. Uh, there's no minimum on that so 18 wins would have been the other one now i was i wasn't going to gold one i mean i haven't finished gold one in, in a fifa uh, weekend league since fifa 18 not because i'm bad although at the moment i probably am um it, it's because i i physically can't play that many games or i just get really annoyed <laughs> it's more more me being bad and annoyed than anything else but still um that would give us an 87 plus so if they introduce this again over the next couple of weeks, and especially if they have some sort of team of the season. Um, do you know what's interesting to me? This doesn't expire for another nearly four hours, which is six o'clock on uh, Monday. And yet Weekend League has been shut since 7 a.m. Why can't they just extend it permanently to when this expires? I would I I would be I would play on. I would probably go to gold three, if not maybe even higher. I have quite a few games left to be fair. I think I finished maybe eleven and four. Not that that's great. That is quite bad. But, but I rage quit two games. I was like five three at half time in one. I was like, you know what? I can't be bothered. I, and that was my last game as well. That was something like I was on ten wins and I was like, I just need one more five three at half time. I was losing five three obviously. I would have gone on to lose the game, but it would have finished like. 8485 so I thought you know I can't be bothered for this every time I come back into the game he'd go two ahead and I'd have to uh I, I left and I went to another game beat the guy 3-0 he rage quit half time I was like oh yeah that's class watching the replays for some of the goals yeah look how good I am rivals game Ugh. had to go into another one fortunately I scored twice in 18 minutes and he rage quit Whew. bit of luck um what was I looking at though icon swaps yeah, so we need one more win in foot champs to get that token. So I'll do that this weekend. That'll get that done. I need to start doing this because, I, I mean, okay, I've got two weeks, but I don't really have any UCL cards. So I need to either buy them or hope to pack them in just a second. 
and I need to do these single player ones as well. It's just a, a question of being bothered to do it, but I do need to do it. And will I have all 12 tokens for this session? It's something I didn't expect to get actually because I didn't plan on doing foot champs. So yeah, quite happy about that. Now we have a player pick. One of five, which is actually quite good. There is no cap, though. It could literally be five 75 rated cards. Who knows? Um, I mean, realistically, not not realistically, that's the wrong word. Speculatively, I would like a Ronaldo, an Mbappe, a Neymar if he has one. Can't remember. Messi would be really nice. Um, but no, Saint Maximin is probably one of the cards I'd really, really appreciate. Even, what is he, 84? Just because I really do need a right wing. I think he's, is he left wing? Don't know. I, I would like a really good right wing option, if possible. Let's get it. Well, to be fair, I did ask for a right wing option. And he does fit my team, and he has five star skills. But Mares is not a player that I really wanted. Because Mares is a player that I packed yesterday. I got uh, Shapeshifter, the central Shapeshifter Mares yesterday. And I don't know why. I've, I, we always get a red pick Mares. We got one last season. I think I got one the season before. I'll, I'm definitely going to take him, though. I've got Maguire's 86. Uh, that is actually a decent card, Funes Mori. I'm not going to take it, obviously. Um, it's not a bad card. That is a moments card from last week, I think it was. Um, those two are... I mean, he's got five-star skills, I think. Yeah, but I don't want him. We are going to take... I think they they misunderstood me. I'm, I'm talking into the mic, and I didn't say Maxim. I said Maximin, but never mind. Mares is not bad, though, honestly. Mares is really good. That could have been so much worse. I am happy with that. He will play. Uh, he, probably, he will probably play in my weekend league team going forward, unless we pack an amazing right wing between now and, uh, and Friday. So... Let me go over here. So this was the team that I was using toward the back end. Now, Nesta, Nesta ain't it. He is now far too slow. With the sheer number of, of pacey cards in this game, Nesta doesn't have the pace. I've completed Saar. I think I did that off camera, incidentally, because I wasn't... I did 6 o'clock content on this account when Saar came out. Talked about it, said he was worth doing, and that I would do it, and then didn't do it. And did it off camera. My voice is going because I went for a run two days ago. <clears throat> My chest is completely shot and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I apologise. Let me send him back to the club. Let me put Bellarabi on the bench or there or thereabouts. What I've been doing in games actually is swap swapping Nesta for Opara. Now I can't get Opara into a team unless EA release some sort of crazy Tim Howard card that doesn't exist. So I'm kind of stuck with this at the moment because... I, I need, I mean, this is what I've been, this is what I could do, right? So we put Awar there. What I need, take De Gea out, get him out. Now, I, Bellerin is my preferred right back, okay? But what I could do is play Trent. We could then play Gomez. That leaves me needing <clears throat> a soft link to Gomez. Now, Hugo Lloris works a treat. Any icon goalkeeper works a treat. Unfortunately, if I play De Gea there, works for Gomez's chemistry, doesn't work for De Gea, he's on 8 chem. Is that the end of the world? Not really. So for the time being, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Awa's on full chem, everyone else is on full chem. Mares now comes in up here. We could play Flor Florian Tovan, right? I don't like him. <laughs> that's a lie. I do like him, I just don't think he's good enough. For this team, I would prefer to have Mares or Dan James than than Tovan because I've been playing Dan James. But uh, Mares is an upgrade because he has those five star skills with a chem style. He'll have a little bit more pace. He's got just about enough stamina for me to be able to keep him in the team for quite a while. Is he left footed? Yeah, he's left footed, so he can go on the left hand side of the um, <clears throat> strike partnership, which is of course going to be Hazard, Mares, and then. Hadji in behind, maybe? And then I could bring on the likes of Bellarabi, uh, Magidi, Kent, Tarapt, or whatever I need. Yeah, I, I think that's the way I'm going to run it for right now. But realistically, what I need is either an icon goalkeeper, a French Premier League goalkeeper, so Lloris, 
Uh, and then, yeah, we need to start maybe looking to upgrade this position. I do like Awa. I think he's fantastic, but I just need a really good icon in there, really, more than anything else. Anyway, I have quite a few packs to open, including a 50k, a 35k, and a couple of other packs here or there. And in tomorrow's video, I will have the Foot Birthday Party Bag, SBC, to open. I'll also have an 84 plus from, uh, was it Foot 16? Is that what they released yesterday? I don't know. And whatever else they released today, and a bunch of Sudamericana Libertadores SBCs as well. All the packs from those. Now, a lot of these are quite bad. Uh, premium Loan Reward Players Pack. Don't know where that came from. I genuinely don't know where that came from. I wonder if loans are still um, coming out as actual cards, though. Nope. Fix that. So let me get rid of Jordan Henderson. Don't care about him. Uh, and we'll move on. But, um, yeah, not an amazing set of packs to open today. But I didn't plan on having an amazing set of packs to open. It was just what I've been accumulating over the last few days. It wasn't even saving. I wasn't saving them specifically. It was just the way that it is. But you never know. I packed... Um, Makis in form or team team of the week moments Makis ma matches uh, the other day from one of these one player packs so you just never know but the big one the 35k and the 50k uh, they're both untradeable incidentally the 35k is the completionist from the foot birthday daily SBCs or objective sorry and the 50k pack is from the season objective uh, to which I am three levels away from Fred uh, on this account obviously um We've got two of these left to open. But like I said, tomorrow we'll have another big pack with a party bag SBC. If they release anything else as well, we'll we'll get on with that. And I want to try and go around the um, the Americanas League SBCs quite a bit as well. I'm going to start going through the club and selling all the silvers for every league apart from the Premier League as well. Because I don't care about completing any of them. Except maybe the Chinese League and the Saudi League just to get the silvers to potentially pack these um, Americanus League SBC cards but if you go on the web app something I discovered the other day if you go on the web app uh, you can actually search for the Libertadores and Sudamericana specifically when buying players off the market so it makes it 10 times quicker and easier and cheaper than, than trying to do it on the console so that's effectively essentially and literally what I'm going to be doing um, and I'll do, I'll do this. So every time I pack a player that I don't need from one of these leagues, literally just going to list him up. I'll take whatever I can for him, and uh, we'll we'll start really trickling up with coins. Um, dip down in coins quite considerably. Actually, I'm about 160 thousand down on where you may have seen me or where I where I was after I sold the two players that I've packed. Um, no, Munayin, of course. Can't remember where I packed. Before was it nine Golan? Pack nine Golan, sold him, uh, got like a hundred and whatever it was for him. Uh, bought Munyain for thirty five k, the foot birthday version. Sold him for like a hundred and eighty, hundred and ninety. Went up to about nine sixty, uh, nine seventy, somewhere of that nature. Completed Sar, did a few other SBCs. I'll show you what players I have in a second, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much where we are with it. That guy is worth about a thousand coins. Uh, but now I've been sort of spending a little bit here or there. I bought a bought a player yesterday for the uh, foot birthday party bag SBC. I think I bought um, Courtois, which cost me about forty k. So that's where a big chunk of those coins have gone as well. Uh, but uh, that's done ready to be submitted. Well, that's a lie. It's not done. It's almost done ready to be submitted. I just I held off just in case we packed something from one of these packs. Obviously, it doesn't look like we're going to. But um, this is tradable. Then two untradable packs, but two fairly juicy ones. Unfortunately, the gods are not smiling. Although this could be an 83. I'm hoping it's going to be a useful... No, nope, it's not. I hoping it's going to be a useful UCL card. Because, like I said, I do need to complete that section of the uh, icon swaps. <clears throat> My voice, man. It is gone. <clears throat> apparently I've got some sort of bronchial condition. I, I googled it and apparently, because I've always, every time I've gone running in my life ever for an extensive period of time this is completely unrelated to football or FIFA but we're going to do it anyway because that's it's, the, it's that type of road to glory um, every time I've gone sort of for a run, if it's longer than say a mile, then what tends to happen is my chest tends to really hurt. It's like, imagine running in 
freezing weather, just like minus one or whatever. <clears throat> you go out for a run, you're out there for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and your chest really hurts because you're just breathing in freezing cold air and you've obviously been gasping a lot. And yeah, that that's what happens to me, regardless of the weather, because <clears throat> I ran on a treadmill indoors. Um, yeah, regardless of the weather, that's what happens. And apparently it, it's some sort of bronchial like disorder or something that you get because your, your chest tightens and it closes and it apparently only lasts for um, an hour or two or maybe a little bit longer. But what happens to me is that the pain only lasts that long and then I'm left with some, like it sounds like I've got bronchitis or something. Um, not that you care, but I thought I'd let you know anyway. So, uh, Mega Pack and a Rare Players Pack. <clears throat> Let's go. I'm not expecting anything. I would just like something to help me towards one of those SBCs. It is a board. It is a walkout. Would you believe it? I wouldn't. Spain, dead. Centre-back, be Ramos. Ah, it's PK. That's fine, though. That helps me tremendously. That saves me about 40,000 coins. So... I mean, what more do you want? That was for the completionist as well. So I've literally earned that through playing games. Not bad. Not bad at all. That will uh, that will go into the foot birthday party bag SBC. We get a decent UCL card to use in a team as well because Mendy isn't too bad. He's well-rounded. Kadira is going to help me out a little bit as well. And a few other cards for links and whatnot. Some nice position changes. And then a bunch of fodder. Uh, that we can hopefully swap for tradable fodder at the end. Some of them are, some of them are not. And then we'll we'll have that 50k pack. You know what I feel about or how I feel about 50k packs. They don't do anything for me. They are absolutely dreadful. Just gonna put them on the transfer list. I'll sort them out after. 50k packs on this account have been bad. Re I'm not expecting a board. I, that's not even reverse psychology. I genuinely, I won't even react. It is a board though, which is decent. It's not a walkout, so the 35k pack was better, but at least we got a board. Spanish again, striker, and it's going to be Iglesias, which is obviously not great from a 50k pack. You'd kind of expect to get the PK from a 50k, but never mind. Mares red pick, very good in my opinion. Uh, we get uh, a couple of 83s. Gabriel Jesus, don't know if he's worth anything, not that I can sell him anyway. He's worth about 4k to be fair. But um, And we also get uh, PK for some fodder tomorrow. We'll have that party bag, SBC. So all those are untradeable dupes. So what I'll do is I'll pop those three in a upgrade SBC for tomorrow. Or I'll use them in one of the SBCs uh, to get uh, like the 84 plus or whatever it may be. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So there we have it then. Uh, what did I have? Let me just have a quick look to see if I've added. Of course, I've added Bellarabi for, you know, playing the games We've got that through um the objectives i got to wrap from the sbc uh which i i needed to i needed to get to wrap from the sbc he's just one of those cards that five star skills and he's just a he's a he's a bit of a fifa legend you know so i had to do that i don't know what else i've done that you wouldn't have seen sar obviously i've said that i did a marvi don't know if you saw that or whether i had that in, a, in an episode like I said, it's been a while since we've done A Road to Glory to know what I had and what I didn't have. I did Tovan, of course. I, I think you knew that anyway. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's it, though, honestly. I don't think I've acquired anything else that you don't know about. Um, no, I think, I think we're up to date. I do think we're up to date. So there we go. Tomorrow, like I said, I will be back. We will have an episode tomorrow. And we'll have the party bag SBC. That's the Macis I packed untradeable. There you go. <clears throat> um, and I'll, I'll have some more gameplay and a, a bunch of other packs as well that I'll get from doing the League SBC grind a little bit. But uh, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed it, then do me a favor and hit the like button. If you played Weekend League and you've got a red player pick, let me know where you got. I, I don't want anyone to think that I was ungrateful with Mares. I'm very happy with that. I did ask for a right wing and I got one. And he's a five-star skiller. What more can I ask for, in all honesty? And he fit into the team rather well as well. So there we go. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.